Hi friend, welcome to the Live Study Channel. Today I am going to I am I am going to discuss Hibernate interview question and answer. So let's start. My first question is how to configure Hibernate second level cache using EH cache. EH cache is the best choice of the utilization Hibernate second level cache. Following steps are required to enable EH cache in a Hibernate application. Add Hibernate EH cache dependency in your Maven project means uh, put on the Maven project. If you if it is not a Maven, then you can add corresponding jar file. Means you can download the jar file dependency. Uh, just copy and paste on the pom.xml file. Okay, this one. Another question is define Hibernate validator framework. Data validation is the current consider as as an integer part of my application <coughs> also data validation is used in the presentation layer with the use of javascript and the server side code before processing it occurs before uh, persistence uh, persistence it is order to make sure the follow follow the correct format validation is a cross cutting task so you we should try to keep it part of from the business logic this hypernet validator provide the reference uh, Im implementation of bin validation process another question is what are difference state of an entity bin an entity bin instance can exist is one of the three step first transient persistence and detached transient when an object is never persist persisted or associated with any session it is in a transient state transient instance uh, transient instance may be made persistent by calling save persistent method save or update method persistent instance may be made transient by calling the delete method <coughs> okay persistent when an object is associated with a unique session it is present state any instance returned by a get method and load method is a persistent right and that means when an object is previously persistent but not associated with any session it is detached state detached instance may be made persistence by calling update save or update method log method replicate method the state of a transient detect instance may be also be persistence as a new persistence instance by calling the merge method right <coughs> Move to the another question. Another question is what is used the Hibernate session merge call? Means merge method call, right? Merge Hibernate merge can be used to update existing value. However, this method create a copy from the past entity object and return it. The return object is a part of persistent constants and track for any changes first object is not a track for example have on it more okay another question is what is difference between hibernate save method save or update method and persistent method Hibernate save can be used to save entity to database problem with the same method is that it can be invoked without a transaction and if we have mapping entity then only the primary object get saved catching data in consistency also save return the generate id immediately hibernate persist is a similar to save with transaction I feel it better than save because we 
can't use it outside the boundary of transaction so all the object mapping are preserved also persistence doesn't return the generated id immediately so data persistence happen when needed hibernate save or update res method result into uh, into insert or update query based on the provided data if the data is present in the database update query is executed <coughs> We can use save or update method without transaction also but again you will face the issue with the map object not going to save if the session is not flashed. Okay. For example use the met this method. <coughs> Another question is what will happen if we don't have no argument constructed in entity bin. Hibernate use reflection API to create a instance of entity bins. Usually when you call get method, load method, the method class dot new instance method is used for this and it required no argument construction. So if you if you will not have no argument construction then entity bin hibernate will fail to initiate it and you will get hibernate exception okay <clears throat> move to the another question another question is how can you share your view on mapping description file mapping description file are used by the hibernate to configure function this file is have have the star dot SBM extension which facilitate the mapping between database table and Java class. Whether to use mapping description file or not, this this entirely depend on business entity. Another question is, what is meant by Hibernate turning tuning? Optimizing the performance of Hibernate application is known as Hibernate turn tuning. Again, I'm repeating, optimizing the performance of Hibernate application is known as Hibernate tuning. The performance is tuning strategy the Hibernate three part. First is the SQL optimization, session measurement, and data cache. move to another question another question is how to implement join in a hibernate there are various way to implement join in a hibernate but uh, there are some joins means using associate such as one to one one to many okay many many to one and many to many using join in the sql query there is another form join fetch to load associate data simultaneously no lazy loading we can fire native sql query and use join keyword another question is hibernate session factory is a thread safe internal state of session factory is immutable so it is thread safe <coughs> Multiple threads can access it simultaneously to get session stance. Another question is why we should not make entity class final because Hibernate use proxy classes for lazy loading of data. Only when it needed this is done by extending the entity bin if the entity bin will be final then lazy loading will not be possible hence low performance means memory measurement issue what is query cache in a hibernate hibernate implements a cache region, uh, region for query results that integrate closely with the hibernate second level cache this is an optional feature and required additional step in code this is only used for query that are run frequently with the same parameters 
first of all we need to configure below the property in a hibernate configuration file means like property you can add the hibernate dot cache dot use query cache is equal to true and is the code we need to use set catchable is equal to true method of query quick example look like means a query means you can use variable query is equal to session dot create query you can pass from the employee query dot set catchable true then query dot set catchable region all employees Another question is what is Hibernate proxy and how it help in lazy loading. Hibernate use a proxy object to support lazy loading. Basically, when you load data from the tables, Hibernate does not load all the mapped objects. As soon as you, the reference a child or lookup object where getter method, if the linked entity is not the session catcher, then the proxy co code <coughs> code will go to the database and load the linked object it use java assist to effectively and dynamically generate subclasses implementation of your entity object Another question is what is transaction measurement in a hibernate and how does it is work? Transaction measurement is a property which is present in the Spring framework. Now, what role does it play in hibernate transaction measurement is a process of managing a set of commands or statement in the hibernate transaction measurement is done by transaction interface. It meant abstraction from the transaction implements JTA, JDB, JDBC a transaction is associated with the session and instantiate by call the session dot beginning transaction method another question is how do you integrate hibernate with a stress or sublet web application you can integrate any stress application with a hibernate there are no extra effort required means register a custom sublet constant listener in the sublet contact listener class first initialize the hibernate session store it is the sublet constant action class help in getting the hibernate session from the sublet constant and performs other hibernate hibernate tasks as a normal Another question is, what are the different state of a persistence entity? It is maybe exist one of the following three steps. I am also discuss this question, but just is an overview means transient, persistence, and detach. Another question is, how can the primary key key be created by using the Hibernate? A primary key is a special relational database table column design dis, designated to uniquely identify all the table records. It is specified in the configuration file. Means hbm.xml. The generator can also be used to specify how a primary key can be created in the database means you can add id name column name and generated means okay means class id is equal to string type a column id is equal to length means this one another question is how can we see hibernate generate sql on console in the order to view the SQL on a console, you need to add following Hibernate configuration file to enable viewing SQL or the console for debugging process means property dot so SQL is equal to true property is closed. Another question is what is the benefits of native SQL query support in a Hibernate? Hibernate provide an option to execute native SQL query through the use of SQL query object for normal 
scenario it is however it is not a recommended approach because you might lose lose other benefits like association hibernate first level caching native sql query come handy when you want to execute database specific query that are not supported by hibernate apis such query hint or the connect keyword in a oracle database my last question in this session what is named query named sql language hibernate provide another important feature called named query using which you can define at a central location and we we use them anywhere in the code we can create named query for both sql as well as the native sql these names the named query can be defined in a hibernate mapping files with the help of jpa repository annotation at the rate name query at the rate name query name native query okay thank you thank you for watching this video please like and like and subscribe this video okay thank you so much